Right, in this video I'm going to show you how I use my um, Myford ML7 Mark II milling attachment and a fly cutter, a homemade fly cutting tool to do milling on the lathe or fly cutting on the lathe um, actually milling some um, steel and it's quite an achievement really because I'm just using an ordinary electric drill on the back of the um, milling attachment as you've seen before and I can use it now to actually mill flats on the um, work with this fly cutter and I can use my um, indexing system to get the flats in the correct place and I can even mill hexagons on work and I'm quite impressed with it because um, I had a go with it, it actually um, fly cut steel perfectly as if I was using a milling machine. So this is the tool that I'll be using and it's a homemade um, fly cutting tool. I cut off the end of a um, carbide uh, tool with the DCMT 070204 insert and I brazed it to a piece of steel here for the shank and now I can just use the ordinary 070204 inserts in this tool which is great because I use lots of those on different tools and now I'll go out to the workshop and show you it in use so this is the setup I used this tool here to lock the collet up a um, great little tool to have because I couldn't use the ordinary um, type tool to actually lock that up. Obviously you couldn't get that onto the collet. It's an ER20 collet um, chuck by the way. And this is my Mark II milling attachment powered by an ordinary electric drill there, a Bosch drill. The housing has a heavy duty tapered roller bearings both ends and the spindle goes right the way through that I'm using my indexing system to get the flats in the correct position and to hold the spindle from moving and then I'm going to be using the fine feed at the back here to wind the fly cutter forward plus I'm using a carriage stop to get the length of cut right
and that's one flat done. And you can see there, it's a lovely finish on that one. That's mild steel, so it's not the best steel, but it's a good finish anyway. And now I can turn the spindle round to the next position and mill a flat opposite that one. And then I'll have two flats on the work. So wind the tool out. Bring the tool in here. Just turn that one round there. And touch on. And that's the job finished.